Shalom, welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Shady Business in the Exile. Of course, all of us who make Aliyah to Israel, we so appreciate this holy country and Zoha to be in Eretz Yisrael and all the Mitzvah Bars to be here at this magnificent time in Jewish history. We never look down on people who say, so how, do you, how come you don't come and they want you here? Man, it's not a simple move and everyone should appreciate everyone else's struggles and challenges. Nevertheless, there was a sign I saw in one of the uh, places by Davin in Chutzlar, so just recently in, in New York, tri-state area, and one of the places, yeshivas or shuls that I was at, I saw a sign that caught my attention. I had to write it down word for word and share it with you. It talks about the fact that they put $200 into each shade that they put up, which, okay, it's fun. They should make the yeshiva look beautiful. And we hope that they will last until we all greet the Mashiach. We hope that they will last till we all greet the Mashiach. Meaning, please be careful with it. Don't abuse it. It's $200, and there's a lot of sh shades on the windows. That's expensive. That's fine. And be careful with that property. That's good. It's a good message, an important message. We hope that they last until we all greet Mashiach. So I know it's not a simple thing to move to Eretz Israel. And I understand that for many people, it's not on the radar. It's not like that, oh, wow, wait till my kids grow up, or I, I need to be able to retire, I need to have this job, or oh, I need to find the right school and find children. And many of you are not even thinking about it. I understand that, and I think it's sad. And Hopefully everyone will think this sugya, this topic through in a proper way. But to me, a sign like that is upsetting. In other words, it's openly stating and publicly writing, I'm going to be here until the Mashiach arrives. So the Mashiach is going to be here in 100 years, 50 years, whatever it may be. I'm going to be here in this space for Henry Steigen, and I want these shades to last until then. If I had no more use for them, so <laughs> I'll, uh, the wing, on the wings of eagles, I'm going to fly to Israel, and I don't know what's going to be with this yeshiva. God will take care of it, and the shades can break at that point. But it's like publicizing that I, I have no plans. It's one thing where you don't privately, you don't have plans, and that's just the reality. But to reach the point, you don't even think about putting a sign in a public city. I'm not playing coming to Israel. I'm going to be here in New York. In this area, and I'm going to be in the base medrash. Baruch Hashem, be in the base medrash. Baruch Hashem, learning Torah. But reach that point, which is, it's not even like a recognition that I, I should be at least thinking about it, talking about it. I should publicize it, publicize the fact that I'm going to be here. I'll be in Gaulus. That's my plan. And when Hashem yanks me out, then I'll be here. So I bless all the holy Jews in Chutz Laaretz to continue living beautiful spiritual lives. But even if there's not a move to Eretz Israel. And even if they're not actively planning a move to Eretz Israel, but at least to realize it shouldn't be such a level of despair, yeush, and disconnect to the point where openly declare, I am planning on all of us dominating here. We are planning on staying in Gullus. And when the Mashiach comes, then we'll move. We should have at least some. We hope our holy brothers of Chosaras have some inkling, some connection to Eretz Israel. So maybe, just maybe, even before the Mashiach comes, will be Zohar to join us here in Eretz Israel. Shalom.